Hi. What's up, dude? My name is Jeremiah. This is it's a sharp gentleman right here. I'm an 11-year-old local journalist here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay. It's, not, it's a pleasure to meet you, Bird. Very, okay. very well spoken, man. Thank you. So my first question to you is, oh, every season, social media has been buzzing about your touchdown celebration. Okay. Just thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The Harton here in the AFC Championship, or a Florida Brown fan to the end. So can we expect any surprise celebrations when your first touchdown in the Super Bowl? And if so, will there be so well hard to take? I got I to gotta start thinking about it. I haven't thought about it quite yet. Um, who knows? Maybe during the uh, red zone period in practice, I'll, I'll I'll test out a few. You got any good ones for me? You got any requests? <laughs> Honestly, no. Come on. What would you What would you do if you got in the end zone? I mean, as a I, I really just do spike. I don't really check. Them. Okay, I'm listen. The spike is electric. I'm with that. <laughs> Very nice, man. What else you got for so me? My second question to you is: You and Patrick Mahomes always seem to be in sync, and I feel like it's getting better every year. Thank you, man. What are some of your key factors that have strengthened your chemistry over the years? Um, we hang out a lot as friends, so that way I know that when I'm in the huddle with him and he's looking at me to get do something better and uh, dig a little bit deeper if I'm tired, we have that respect and that, that mutual, you know, friendship to to want to have it that much more for the guy next to us, man. So other than Patrick being the best quarterback in the league right now and you being a tight tight end, tight end in the league right now, why do you think your teammates respect each other so much? Um, I think that uh, they just see the hard work and our determined mindset every single day. You know, we don't kind of steer away from the goal at hand. Every single day, we're uh, we're there to win football games and we're there to work our tail off, uh, so that we're accountable in that in that aspect. So I think that's where the respect comes from. Your brother Jason recently retired from the NFL at the age of 36, and it is such a blessing that he retired on his own and not because he suffered a significant injury. Has his decision made you stop and reflect on when you might retire? I'll tell you what. I think it's still up in the air whether or not he's going to continue to play football. Um, and I, I I love coming into the building and playing this game more than anybody, man. And I uh, I know I'm going to miss it when it's over with. So uh, I can't put a time stamp on it, but I know that I'm going to enjoy every single bit of this one. So one thing that I notice about you is that whether you're on the field or the sidelines, you bring all the energy to it. Woo! <laughs> you're like the life of the party. You seem like you would be the type of person to enjoy my city. So my final question to you is, what are some of the funnest things you've done in Vegas? Some of the funnest things I've done. Uh, last year, we um, we celebrated the Super Bowl win by going to the win and uh, going to Club Excess. You can't go to that yet, but maybe one day. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. But um, I don't think anything would be more special if, uh, if, if I find a way to win this one. It would be the most special one yet. Thank you so much for your time.